Are your GP invoices looking dated or dull? And you're certainly looking to spruce it up a little? Is modifying your GP sales invoices using the default report writer just not user friendly? If you're familiar with Microsoft Word and its excellent features, wouldn't it be nice if you could modify your invoices there? The good news is you can. In today's webinar, I'll show you just how much nicer sales invoices can be when printed off of a Word template. On to GP. We have an invoice waiting to be printed. This invoice has a deposit against it for $100, leaving an amount of $1,140. Let's print this to a Word template. Well, it isn't bad, but it would be nice to spruce things up a little bit. So I'd probably put a nice eye-catching logo up here. I would like to change the font and size of the line items. I think they should at least be bigger than the uh, header information, like the address up here. You'll notice that this section does not include amounts already received, so we'd like to add that. And also, Profit has recently celebrated its 25th anniversary, so maybe a message down here at the bottom uh, to let our customers know would be nice. Okay, to modify everything, we'll close out of here. We're going to assign a company logo. Now, if I had multiple companies in GP, I could assign each of those companies their own company logo. So I could share one template among many or multiple companies, and each time we print, it'll print a different logo uh, depending on which company I'm printing out of. Well, I only have one, so we'll just assign this one logo. Okay. Then on with the modifications. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this as another file. Okay, now we have a placeholder for the logo here, so um, when this prints, the logo will print directly here. So that we don't have to do anything about the logo, just adding it to the company uh, setup uh, will do. So from here, if we wanted this to be a different font, we also wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So I'd say, let's change this to Fortiana and make it print. Okay. Then the other thing that we wanted to do was to add the amounts received. So probably add a space above the total. So we'll give it a amount received. And we have a field list that will populate with all the fields of your sales invoice. Pull in the amount received. We want to make sure that it's the same font as the same size. We'll delete the number of excerpts here. Those are just placeholders for the characters that'll print. We'll replace this with another total field. And our little message to our customers, letting them know that it's been 25 years of service. So,
Give it a different font. There you go. We're going to save this and re import it back into here. We need to assign it to the company. All right, let's see how it looks. And there you go. So now, logo. Line items are a lot bigger and more readable. At least in my opinion, that's better. Uh, we now have the amount received and the total now excludes the amount that's been paid. And down here at the bottom, we have a nice little message to our customers letting them know we've been in business for 25 years. We can print this. That's how it would look like. This is how it will look if you email it um, as a PDF or just print it out and, uh, and snail mail it if anyone still does that. Word templates are a valuable part of your accounts receivable toolbox. Make gorgeous sales documents like invoices using a tool you've known and used for years. If you have any questions on anything you've seen in today's webinar, would or would like to talk about Microsoft Dynamics GP with us, please visit us at www.profit.ca. Have a wonderful day, and I thank you for viewing.